version of yourself. Like me, I'm a hologram. Hello. Hello. And what do you think you're doing? What am I presenting? No, but it, it's still my show. It's my show now. No, but it's my show now. So, what we're going to need is footage of you or your subject standing in front of a, a bright blank background. We're going to need a shot of just the background itself, and we're going to need a shot of whatever the hologram is going to be projecting from. Next, we need to take the clip of the, bla of the blank background on its own and add a frame hold to it and extend it for the entirety of your hologram footage. And once we've done that, we need to click on the on the blank background clip, put that in V2 above our hologram clip, go to the effects panel, click on opacity, and on blend mode, click on it and go to divide. Now that will make the blank background disappear and it will bring forward your hologram footage. Now everything will be a bit brighter, but that's absolutely fine. And once we've done that, we make it a nested sequence. Next, we need to go to the effects menu, search for color key, and apply it, and drag that, and apply it to our nested sequence. From there, we click on the on the key color eyedropper. We find somewhere on the blank background, and we click on it, and then we mess around with the color tolerance to the point just before the color from the subject starts to be taken out as well. Once that happens, you then apply another color key to your nested sequence and do the same thing until the background is completely gone to the best of your abilities. Once you've done that, you can then create a mask around your subject so any, part, so, so any parts you couldn't get rid of will hopefully then be removed with the mask. Then we look for the color balance RGB in the effects menu and apply it to our nested sequence. You then take out all of the red and you mess around with the green and blue until you get a nice hologram color for you. Next we go back to the effects menu and we look for wave warp and apply that to the nested sequence. Now for this one, now for this one, it might look a little bit squiggly or whatever, but, but in the wave type, we click on the drop down menu and we look for square. And we put the direction back down to zero, so the lines will be going horizontally rather than vertically. Then we have to bring down the values of the wave height and the wave width to the point where it looks a bit digital and you're happy with it. So, af so after you're happy with how with your hologram looks so far, you then go back to the effects menu, look for alpha glow and apply that to the nested sequence. You then click on your subject's face or somewhere that has a nice color with the, with the start and end color eyedroppers and you mess around with the glow and the brightness until you are happy with how the kind of glowing hue around the hologram looks. Once you've done that, you get your video clip of whatever the hologram is going to be projecting out of. For me, it's my phone. And you, uh, and, uh, and you add a frame hold to it and you drag it out for the, whole, for the whole sequence. And last thing we need to do on this at the moment is simply just change the, is just change the opacity on the nested sequence. And you simply move the hologram around and rescale it to where you're happy with it ending up as, and then we add in a little bit of animation to it. You go to the start a few frames before the start of the clip, you make keyframes on the position and scale, and then you go right to the beginning of your of your clip, make new keyframes, and then bring down the scale and the position values to so it looks so it looks like it's popping out of the screen. And the very, very last thing to do for your hologram is to make sound effects for it. So you go to your effects menu and you look for high pass and apply that to the audio of your clip and then that will make it sound like it's coming through from a telephone. And the very last thing is we add kind of like a little kind of like like techno whoosh sound effect it's like it like for when it's coming out of the phone. I'd recommend looking around for any ones you can find on YouTube or even paying for some if you if if that's what you want. Uh, and just finding ones that you like and just applying them and it's all trial and error. This is all trial and error. With that is the conclusion of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I hope this has helped you in any way, shape or form. 
do get in touch if you have any ideas of what you would like me to do for you in terms of tutorials, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.